And welcome back to Young at Heart. You know, I love this part of my job. I get to uh, be with all of this wonderful talent that comes through our doors out of Nevada. And with me today, I have Jim, and I'm going to say your name right, Darigo. Correct. Yes, you got it. That's I great. did. Oh, wow. And Jim has been in Las Vegas for at least 12 years playing his woodwinds, and I know that you've been playing at the uh, Sandy Hackett Rat Pack Show. How long have you been doing that? You know, Sandy opened the show in November of 2009, and we've been going strong since. We're coming up on one year oh. uh, of the show, and it's just a blast. It swings. It's funny. It's just a, a great place to go and work. Oh, if you love the Rat Pack from that era, you've got Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr. Dean Martin, Joey Bishop. You know, uh, Sandy Hackett himself performs yes. in the show. He's oh. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, Sandy's been around for a bit he in sure Las has. Vegas. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, he's got, he's got the legacy going on, doesn't yep. he? And that is at the Sahara. And you can find out about show times and dates if you just go right to the Sahara. Sahara has a website, I'm sure. Sure, you can go to Sandy Hackett's Rat Pack Show com as That's well. That's true. Now, you also have a freebie that people might be interested in coming out to see at Sam's Town? Well, you know, I, I heard uh, that the seniors really are great fans of your show here and, and great followers of the show. And so I wanted to make sure that they knew about this little tidbit. Yeah. Um, there is a brand new product at Sam's Town Hotel and Casino every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And it's absolutely free. I think the only thing you have to do is have one of those little you know, players cards or oh, okay. uh, yeah. to, you know, membership cards for the hotel and you, you go there and you swipe, swipe in, in and you get admission to an absolute free variety show called Sam's Town Variety Toast of the Town. And it's absolutely fabulous. A variety of talent comes on. I get to play in, the, in a great quartet, a great ensemble that's music directed by Bill Fain, the great uh, piano player from Clint Holmes. Wow. So uh, I yeah. look forward to seeing people from Pahrump checking me out on Thursday afternoons at 2 o'clock at Samstown. And absolutely, we're going to make him audition today on our show just so you can see how he'd go. So I'm going to give it to you, Jim, and you go ahead and wail out. Well, I understand that uh, you use Frank Sinatra as your theme music. Yes. And I play in a Rat Pack show, and it's a full moon. Go for it. So you know what? This might just work for today. All right. Was great we need more people on our studio uh, we should do what they do at other stations and invite people down on Mondays you know to have an audience a studio audience oh, there you go, yeah. so that they can be a part of this, this is fantastic you know oh my gosh you've got a set of lungs on you kid yeah they, they work when they have to <laughs> that's great now you also correct me if I'm wrong you have another show that um, you do and some of the proceeds are all of the proceeds benefit a cause Oh, you know, we should mention this. It's a little early right now. Oh, but okay. But in, in January, and maybe we can come back and I can bring this guy out because you'll love this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, the seniors in Las Vegas are very well aware of Mr. Sammy Shore. Oh, the yes. father of Polly Shore. And coming up January 30th, we're going to be doing our second annual Funny Bones charity fundraiser. 100% of the proceeds goes to benefit animals and rescue that need medical attention. And we did our first one last year at the Palms Hotel. Mm. We had 16 great comedians, including Sammy Shore. And we raised $16,000 for the dogs. Wow. And it was so successful that immediately the Maloof family said, 
you're going to do it again next year. Oh my gosh. So it'll also be again this year at the Palms. It'll be, it'll be January 30th. It's okay. the Sunday before Super Bowl in January. And uh, I promise you that I will bring Sammy Shore up here. Oh, I'd love uh, that. To, uh, to be on the show. And our viewers would love that too, I'm sure. And I know out here, people love their animals. And it, this is such a great cause because I think we sometimes forget that, you know, we, we're always doing benefits for this and that, but we forget about those cute little guys that really depend on us to take care of them. Yeah, you know, they're they're here and it's our job to take care of them. We, we domesticated them. It's our Absolutely. job. Absolutely. It it's is our responsibility. Our job. Now, just to find out a little, how did you get started in music? My mom made me take piano <laughs> lessons at five. <laughs> okay, I did so, that too, but... So, I got started because I was told that I was going to play music. So at five, I took piano lessons, and I took piano lessons for about a year. I was very young. And then uh, when I turned nine, we had a chance to choose an instrument in the school band. And mm -hmm. I wanted to play the clarinet, and my best friend wanted to play the trumpet. So we couldn't decide on which one we were going to play together because we were nine, and we had to play something that was the same. So we decided on the saxophone. So I've been playing it since I was nine. It's a great instrument. I mean, I do. I love all types of woodwinds, but to me, there's something about the sax that just, it's it's it's, it's different. It, it suits many uh, styles. Genres, it suits, yes. suits many, you yes, know, yes, yes. You both young people and, and our young seniors and our mm -hmm. young youngsters all like it. Well, you're going to do another piece for us, which is a pleasure. So let's take it away to Wonderful. Jim. Wonderful. This is a piece of music that Frank Sinatra released in 1961 and you might know this one as well. so great and I gotta tell you I'm gonna sound like Kathy Lee Gifford but you know this is my style of music because <clears throat> I do it myself so it's yeah, such a pleasure <laughs> we plug, have a mutual plug, friend plug. yes we do we yeah. do a great saxophone player hey uh, Dick Castell Dick Castell he and his lovely wife Joanne um, yeah, he played in my band here when we lived in Pahrump before he's legendary he is legendary yeah, I mean so sure it's kind of nice to have this little legendary. bit of a Connection, legendary, and he's still playing a sax, and he's 85 years old, young. Yes, yes, 85 young that's years, right. and that's I'm sure that you plan on playing as long as you're able to do so. I, I know uh, I do. I tried to quit once; it didn't work out. <laughs> that's too funny. Well, besides being an incredibly wonderful musician, um, he <laughs> I just forgot your name. Jim. Jim. <laughs> They say the mind is the first to go. It's la, all right, la, la, la. Diane, we're fine. <laughs> no, Kathy Lee. Remember oh, Kathy, Kathy Lee? Lee and Hoda. I was thinking Kathy Lee and Hoda. I was like, where's Jim's name? Anyway, Jim and his lovely wife, Sam, um, also are coming back to do an incredibly different fashion show for us. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 